People Magazine, Court TV, Dr. Drew, Nancy Grace, Reality TV. Hi folks, this is Kate Saxton of katesaxton.com and Ask Ms. Kate on Facebook. Do you think gossiping is a bad thing? By the time you're done watching this video, I promise you, you are going to feel a sense of entitlement the next time you gather with friends and engage in conversation, otherwise known as gossip. Why? Here we go. Is gossip always a bad thing? No, not necessarily. Gossip can be actually very positive, and here's a few reasons why. First of all, gossiping helps us in social situations. It's a sort of lubrication when we're in a social situation. We feel a sense of belonging when we engage in conversations with each other. And oftentimes talking about other people can be an icebreaker before we really start talking about ourselves. Number two, it can help us sort of process whether or not we want a particular person in our life or maybe if we have somebody in our lives who we're not feeling really trustworthy about or some of their actions maybe rubbed us the wrong way, we process that by talking about them to other friends of ours. So it can help us make an assessment on whether or not we want to continue that friendship or if, maybe if it's a business we're talking about, a local business, is that business reputable? Can we trust those people? Should we do business with them? So there's some positives about gossiping. Can it be negative? Well, yes, of course it can be negative. And here is why. If we find ourselves talking about people in a bad way, in a negative way, using words that we wouldn't want used against us, saying things to people that maybe were said in private, were said in confidence, or we know that we're talking here and gossiping to sort of make ourselves feel better, lift ourselves up. If I share this bad thing this person's going through, then maybe I'm not going to feel so bad about the issues I'm having. If we're engaging in gossip in that sense, then yes, it can be a negative thing. However, you can turn that around. Next time you're in a social situation, first of all, think a little bit before you engage in a conversation. So think a little bit about what you're going to say if you're engaging in a conversation about somebody else. And then think, what's my motivation? Why am I talking about this person right now? Is it something in me that's going on that I haven't wanted to look at? For me in life, and I, when I counseled people, I would encourage them to do this. If there's something you're pointing your finger out to others, and you remember that old thing, we've got three pointing back. It's a cue for us to look inside of ourselves. If we're judging and criticizing somebody else, something is going on within us, and maybe we should chat or gossip about ourselves with somebody we trust. So that's it for today as far as gossiping. It's not always a bad thing. Next time you're in a social, social situation, you're going to sound a lot more informed and a lot more positive, guaranteed. If you like this video, please click like, share, comment, and go to my blog, katesaxton.com, for the whole blog piece on gossip. See you on the next video.